from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. I'm Todd Matheson. Thanks for joining with me for some Daily Hope. I've been reconsidering something that I, I think I can take for granted about God, and it's this, that God has ultimate power. During Jesus' earthly ministry, we see his power over all things in the natural world, in the supernatural world, including demons and sickness, even death. The ultimate power of God is seen fully in Jesus Christ. But what I've been thinking about is that God's power is more than dominion over wind and waves. Biblically, the ultimate power of God is, I think, most strikingly seen in, of all things, the power to forgive. Okay? Think about it. What, what is the basis for forgiveness? Is it just kind of a, a willingness or even a surrender to kind of just overlook an offense and just say that the hurt doesn't matter? What is the basis for you to forgive others? Because the reality is that where there's an offense, it's real. The hurt can still, well, hurt. The memory of the offense still can bring pain. And the brokenness that sin creates needs remedy. So if forgiveness is based on saying, well, the offense doesn't really matter. It's no big deal. When it's a hurt against me, what my heart screams out is, where's the justice? And this is where I think we see God's ultimate power to be shown in how God has forgiven us. And how is that done? Or maybe better put, where is that done? It's done on the cross of Jesus Christ. The cross is the point where wrath and mercy intersect. On the cross, Jesus reveals both God's holiness and justice, as well as God's love and mercy. The cross of Jesus serves as the ultimate intersection where judgment and mercy meet. How is this so? Because God became human. Jesus is God. And Jesus, God, died on the cross to pay for our sins. The Bible says in 1 John, Jesus is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. And not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. God can die for the sins of the whole world. And God has. Now we need to look to him in faith to receive that forgiveness. The psalmist writes this in beautiful poetry. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. In other words, true forgiveness involves first someone paying for the wrong or making it right, and two, the guilty party being relieved of the guilt by the person making the payment. And that's what God has done for you and for me in Jesus Christ. In other words, deliverance, spiritual deliverance, forgiveness for you and for me happens only and solely at the cross of Jesus. Yes, Jesus has ultimate power and dominion over both the natural and the supernatural realms. But our experience of Jesus' power is most deeply known when we gladly and gratefully receive the forgiveness of God given to us in Jesus Christ. So may you live in that freedom today and may it give you hope for tomorrow. Join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your Son as our Redeemer. Lord Jesus, we praise your name as you gave yourself as ransom for us. You paid the price for us, giving your life in exchange for ours. And so, Holy Spirit, come and, and minister to our hearts encouragement that we all need and the assurance of forgiveness that's found fully and only in Jesus. And then may you give us hope 
for the things that we're looking at today, knowing that you have ultimate power and you've shown it to us in the love you have for us in Christ. In whose name I pray. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining with me today. I invite you to like and share clips like this one. And subscribe to Victory's YouTube channel. And take a minute and leave a comment if you would. I'd love to hear from you. And may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord.